Are we live, Kyle? We are live. Okay, coming up for you. Drive through theaters around the corner. We also have got something new we're going to be bringing to the show. It may be bad, it may be good. We don't know. Story time with Joe is what it's called. Uh, that'll be a little bit later. I'm excited about this. The mother of all garage sales is coming up in a couple of weeks at the Lancaster Event Center. You've been to this? It's where we have a ton of garage sales inside. If you're a garage sale junkie, if you love going to these, it's a lot of fun. There's a ton of deals. There's, you know, there's just a wide range of things that you can get. And it's a it's, it's garage sale after garage sale after garage sale. Well, we at the radio station are having a booth. We've done this now for a few years where you can go and you can buy stuff from us. And usually, I don't know. Have you ever sold anything, Adam, Johanna? No, and I'm like shocked I haven't. Mm-hmm. Because this is like right up my alley. Kyle, have you ever sold anything? I haven't. And I haven't really taken anything to sell. I don't understand. Do, do, do I get to keep all the money from it? Yeah. But you know how it works around here? Are you going to get taxed on it? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're going to get the full Oh, my God. Amount. They'll tax you on anything around here. Check your check. And do I have to price it all myself? Who? Yep. Do you want somebody else to price it? No, you're right. I don't. But I feel like I'm just like an extremist. So I feel like I'm going to like bring just a lot of stuff. And that's just tiring to price it all. Nobody has said whether or not there's a limit, I don't think, on how much you can bring. But I, this is, it's going to be Gary and Johanna's collection. Yeah. That's what we're calling it. Are we're we going to have our stuff in a special spot? I want it separated. <laughs> Not only that, I want it like when you go to the grocery store and you get candy bars, there's lights on it. I'm going to bring spotlights for ours. Oh, my gosh. That's a brilliant idea. Some blinking lights or something. We're going to draw people's attention. Draw them in. One of a kind. Yeah. <laughs> These are special. And what I may do as well, now we have to work that booth. At least, actually, I don't know where we're working. We'll be working somewhere, but somebody's going to be working that booth. I'm thinking about tossing that person a couple extra dollars if they'll push our product. Ooh, give them some, like, liners, like some selling lines, <laughs> <laughs> selling points. Yeah. <laughs> like, or they could model, like, if you have clothes. <laughs> well, it depends who's behind yeah. the table. You um, know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know if you want. Some of them may not work. But they could. You could say that this is, I'm wearing the Gary and Johanna collection. Oh. <laughs> and there'll be price tags on it. I want them to wear the price tag so it's not like a... a so then they have to get naked when they buy the clothes. Well... I think you have to donate one outfit to the person behind the booth, and they can say, yeah, I'm even wearing Gary today. You could do that, I <laughs> yeah. guess. You know? And then they're like, oh, you do you like this? Because we got more. And then over here. Uh-huh. And they pick it up. Now, we have brought in this morning, and we're going to share with you in a second. Sorry, Kyle, forgot to text you on this. <laughs> it is Gary and Johanna's collection, so I, it doesn't make sense that you would be added to the no, collection. Not at all. Yours is going to be with the other stuff. We have, in just a minute, I brought an item in that's going to be uh, an exclusive item that's going to be sold there. And it's going to be hard for me to part with this. I've had it for a long time. Mm. And it's helped me make. Make me into who I am today, this item that I have. Oh, I know what it is. And I'm going to need help on pricing on it, too. And then, Johanna, you brought something in as well? Yeah, and mine is actually, well, I was not joking when I said one-of-a-kind stuff. Like, mine, I will never be able to sell this ever again. It's going to be something weird, like an umbilical cord or something. No, no, you wouldn't do <laughs> no, that No, I would never kids. sell no, that. she keep that. I'm like, honestly, when I think more about this, I'm getting, I'm like a f sentimental freak. And a hoarder. So this is a problem because now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't sell this. But no, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, mine, I'm, mine is the same way. Really? Yeah. Mine has been stowed away. I will never be able to use it. Never. But I, it brings back such great memories. It's hard to get rid of. But I need somebody else to be able to create memories in it. Yeah. There's, that's what you're paying for when you go to the Gary and Johanna collection. Yeah, memories. Yeah. And you, my items are actually useful. Mine is not in style. At Mine all. is useful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what it is you now. Gave it away. If gave you it away. wore it, I'll no tell you. No way. It's something you. I, I don't thought think you, you already know. sold this. I don't think you know what it is. Okay, I thought I did. I know a I lot don't. of weird stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you actually you have a lot of weird stuff. We'll tell you each of uh, Johanna and I uh, probably. 
I don't know. We're going to make this a daily thing, probably, if we can, bring in different items. We really got to push find this. Mine. Was he looking around the corner? He's looking in my yeah. bag. He's looking at <laughs> my... Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck looking in that bag. Johanna and I will bring to the uh, to the air our items for Gary and Johanna's uh, collection at this year's Mother of All Garage Sales. We'll do it when we come back. Wake myself, wake, wake myself with the sun in the morning. Gary and Johanna and... Hey, we have to decide where we're going to take them, send them more because I told him we're just going to send them. Where does mommy food? want food from? Well, <gasps> That's where I would want food from. Yeah. Okay. But you can't tell them I'm me because I can't ruin my relationship. There. They're not going to know who you are. <laughs> I give them my rewards card number every time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the app? Yes. Can you just take the receipt and then insert the receipt into the app and get those points? Hey, Amar, there you I don't know, maybe. Because I don't think I want him to use my number until... Um, but I've never... I, you know, I'll be real with you. I've never gotten breakfast oh, there. What if it looks talks, good. What if he talks to you? Talks to you. That's really funny. Okay. I love it. How do I just look at the menu, people? So it means I got to get baby music. Did I put baby music in the system? I don't know if I did, no? Uh, a very long time ago you did. I don't think I did. Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, it's some really good stuff. What? So I'm digging their breakfast menu. I'm tr I can't even find the menu, Kyle. Stop yelling. I told you. <laughs> now do you get it? You want me to send you the link? I was yelling at myself. Don't I'll send listen you the to him. Don't I'll listen to him. I'll send you the link. Yeah, do that. Baby music. And you know what's ridiculous? You know. It's just like, you know. Sent you the link. You did. Facebook. Kyle, you're slowly becoming a favorite. Where you send it to my personal Facebook? Yeah. No, don't do that. Okay, well now go to the Gary and Nelson messages. Okay, yeah. That's and cool. you can see the link that I had sent you. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. to go put that in the system. I'm gonna be back, guys. I'll be in the other room. Okay, I'll see you later. That's the one I want. Oh, okay, right there. Avocado, yeah. egg white, and spinach. Yeah, no cheese. Yeah, mommy. Yeah, mommy. Guys, <laughs> mama is getting fat. I literally just like, I'll show. Maybe. I don't know if you can see it. I wore too big of a sweater. It's getting there. You got to move the microphone. There you go. Like, all of a sudden, it just popped out. Popped out. And here's the problem. It's from, like... Like, it's not like a cute little, like, you know how some people get the cute little bottom mm. bump? Mine is like my whole you body. Skipped, you skipped the, the cute no, bottom? No, my whole body. <laughs> my whole body is bump. And now you just got full bump? Yes. She got that full bump. Mm. You know what? I um, am the worst, and I never, I don't know why. I just don't take... I wish I was be better about this, but I just, I, with the twins, I really never took pregnancy pictures. Maternity uh, photos? I no, I didn't ever did maternity photos, but I never just even like just took pictures of my belly. Hmm. I don't know why. I just didn't. Are you regretting it? Um, a little bit, but only because I want to come, I wanted to compare it to this one. But here's the problem too. I broke my phone, mm -hmm. and I did take some pictures, but I can't open my phone. I can't get them off my old phone because I didn't have whatever. But anyway. Um, they should be in your iCloud. I I know, but I didn't have iCloud. I was full of storage. Just so, oh. Anyway. But the one place I can go back and look at how big my belly was was the cam. So on <laughs> Thursdays, because I would do, like, I would show my belly on Thursday. They would, like. No, you guys would put the camera on my belly. Did we? Yeah, so I can go and see. Yeah, I know me and Kyle are twins. 
You know what? I had a dream. This is so crazy. I remember driving here. I had a dream that all my clothes in my closet were this color yellow. And then I picked this yellow sweater today. That's something else. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. yeah it's something else, I tell you. <laughs> mm. I just showed Becky on the cam because I feel like I just all of a sudden got a pregnancy belly yesterday. Yeah, I saw a little hump, little hump, hump. Make, don't, don't. Dixie, I don't know what mine is. Mine is just like a belly. It's like my whole belly is big. It's not just like a little bump. It's like. I just look that big. It's not about not saying his name, guys. We just don't want it to become the focus. Sorry. I ain't sorry about it. <laughs> it's my fault. Because it's... I'm not finding out what it is, Dixie. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. So we can all he... guess together. What it... Gary wants me to find out and tell all of you and not know. But that will never work because someone I will find out. Would it be dumb? I want to do what's in the box. Go ahead, would, it, would it be dumb if we placed the order and he had to pick it up? Yeah. He's got to, because, well, maybe. Could make things a little smoother. Becky, I don't know what the heart rate is. I have to find that out at my next appointment. I don't. They because I didn't have an ultrasound. I haven't had an ultrasound for since they were. It was baby tiny. Guys, I slept like a rock last night, and I haven't slept like that. And I don't know how long. <clears throat> is that right? It was so nice. <laughs> All right. Gary took that personal. What did I take personal? He don't even follow him on Instagram. Who? Somebody's looking at who I'm following on Instagram? That's yeah. creepy and crazy, Alicia. <laughs> You're a celeb, man. I guess I am. I made it. You made it. Listen to your favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Froggy 981. Mother of all garage sales. A couple of weeks away, Lancaster Event Center. If you've never heard of it, it's the biggest garage sale ever. Hundreds and hundreds of garage sales at one location. And we will have a booth. Now there will be a broadcast house booth is what they call it here. The Gary and Johanna collection will be inside of the broadcast house booth. It'll be highlighted. Yeah. That's okay. the idea, right? They nope. will really just love that if we make it about us. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be hated here more than we already are. I know. Uh, no, they love us. I think they do. Do they like us? Huh? I yeah. think there's there's I mean, a few, <laughs> I guess. I think there's a couple. Yeah, there's a couple that are questioning us maybe, possibly. I don't know. Less That's than 50%? Okay. Yes. That like us? Yeah. Oh, jeez. jeez. <laughs> <laughs> You're really going to hate this because I think also with the Gary and Johanna collection booth, um... I think we got to have music going. And I don't know what the music is yet. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Hi, yeah. well, welcome. So glad you can come by today. Don't look at that part of the table. Look over here. Oh, you don't <laughs> want screwdrivers and... No. Old frames. No, come on over to the Gary and Johanna collection. Oh, Johanna, what do you have for us today? Oh. We're going to highlight items, by the way, on the show get you excited about some of the things that you can purchase while at the garage sale. Yeah. I have a one-of-a-kind, the last <laughs> box of tampons <laughs> that I bought. Oh, my God, I'm a beauty. <laughs> before, before I found out I was pregnant, they were never open because I never got my period. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? If you buy this. On sale. 
I will throw in my last bottle of my doll. <laughs> It's a two Are you also special. given the wings? Do you have the wings that you're going to be giving up to? I don't do those. Like... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How much would a uh, box of your final your final box of tampons run? What these aren't say? used. I'm selling them for seven bucks. Okay. <laughs> seven dollars. But I'm throwing in my doll. My doll's expensive. It is open and there's some makeup on it from being in my makeup bag. But yeah. throwing in the my doll, I think, makes them worth seven bucks. Dang it. I'm worried that that's going to sell. And we, I guess we want it to sell. <laughs> And I, but I, the, here's the question is, does that go with the Gary and Johanna collection? Can it make it? Does it make the cut? Does mine? Yeah. Are you kidding me? This is famous. These are famous tampons. Well, wait until you see what I have brought. I don't even want to know. What is it? Probably one of the featured items. There'll be a spotlight on this for sure at the Mother of All Garage Sales. The Gary and Johanna collection is a pair of my strength shoes. Oh my gosh, what are those? Now, these they strength look shoes. like a horse huff. What is that? They're platform shoes that are on the front <laughs> part. <laughs> of it's as high as 12. What? It's called the, it really is called the strength shoe. Did you clean those? No, this is, this is the uh, original, <laughs> this is the original look back from. It's like very uh, white. Can you just like Stand like that? Like, is it comfortable to stand in These those? are, listen, there's going to be an athletic side to the uh, Gary and Johanna collection. That's where you'll find these. These cost me, back in the day, about 30 years ago, these were uh, well over $100. $100? And they were guaranteed to make you jump higher and run faster. Guaranteed? It didn't work for me. How long do you have to wear them? I don't know, Johanna. I don't have the program to go along with it. But I will also tell you that I believe that this was the reason that I tore my Achilles tendon not long ago. Because you were wearing those when you tore it. a lot of pressure on the Achilles tendon. <laughs> Is there blood on them? <laughs> 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 This is going to be a higher price item. I'm thinking $50. $50? For <laughs> My tampons are sport, aren't they? No. <laughs> Maybe we could use the tampons to dry up the blood. The <laughs> <laughs> so we can do a demonstration. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gary and Johanna in the morning. I like that music with the that collection. That was great. That yeah. was good. Okay, so I need to save that. Elegant jazz music is what it's called. <laughs> uh, can you guys tell Amar? Can you? Yeah, I wonder. Dude, those shoes, can I see one? Yeah. Can I put them on? Yeah. I wonder if, don't fall, you're pregnant. I won't, listen, I wonder if. I just want to know if I can actually stay. Should we do a head, should we, listen, should we do, what's it called, Foursquare or whatever on the phone? Like our items. <laughs> You can't just stand. It's just like constantly you on your calf. Yeah. It will make your calves big for real. <laughs> no, you can't. It goes down. I thought it would keep me up. No, you have to force your... Look at this. It burned. It's burning. Do you want to put tampon somewhere? We can take a pic with us, too. Yeah. About a hoo-ha? Where's the... Where's the pills? Oh. Oh, yeah. It'll make your calves big for real if you don't blow. Is that really? Do you really blow out your tent? Is that really true? Or did he just lie? To Those were insane. Those? Why did you keep them? <laughs> Why have I you really kept <laughs> Did you really think you I were going to like kids use, may use them one day? <laughs> <laughs> well, they weren't interested. Who would? There's a number. The size. There's a number in the shoe. 1 800 451 jump. Other parts of your body. <laughs> oh, people. Oh, my gosh. See if they're still selling them. They're 
drink. Let's see how much they're going for. You can still buy Strings Juice. I, the same brand. I don't know. Drink. Hey, did anybody tell Amar? Amar what? Where's he going? Amar, you're going to, uh, are you on here, Amar? No. Mm -hmm. You're going to Panera, right down the street on O Street. These are 150 dude. That's what I'm saying, $50 is a steal. They're size 12. Yeah, but these are way cooler looking. Those look I, They don't look cool. I can't, I kind of cool. don't feel good about putting them on my feet because they look gross. They look like you got them secondhand. No, I got them brand new. Did you really? I used to have the parachute go along with it, but I don't know where that is. A parachute? Mm-hmm. Why? It's resistance running. With you, the shoes? Yeah. You do or resistance you do on one. your tiptoes. That's why you busted your Achilles. You do too much. Uh-uh. Probably. A potato pay? What? Joanna needs to sell some extra bag of potatoes. Oh, that's really funny. I will sell some. What if I sell a potato plant that I planted? I've planted a potato. We have to bring something every day. Every single day? That, yes, we can do that. It's like okay. 10 items. That's fine. I think that... Uh, I have another one, but it might be too much for the camp. Bring it. I got so much stuff. What's this? Good, bad, ugly. I think we for real have to, ha the, all these items have to be there because someone might come buy them for real after we're like advertising them. Yeah. We can do that. Amar, did you get it? Did he get our message? He didn't come. Okay. Don't, Amar, don't go into the drive through yet. We have new instructions for you today. New instructions. Yeah, he's not singing. I know. I was. I was. You're I was repeating. <laughs> yeah. I was. I was. I was. Well, that was kind of me telling you I was repeating by repeating. Yeah, you, know? you did. You repeated yourself. <laughs> uh, God, I'm just like a funny. I'm a funny cat sometimes. Yeah, you are. This is better. I like this, Johanna. You know what I mean? Yeah, me too. When my friend Gary isn't being so crabby, then I can feel relaxed. You should feel sorry for me. I don't. I went down last night and watched. I watched jujitsu. I watched. Can you give me some of your gum so I don't have to eat these horse turds? I was wondering when you're going to bring in new. Look at these. I know. What are those? This is natural so gum. Suppositories. <laughs> it looks like a suppository for real. This is my all natural gum. I tried it. It's nasty. It's not all good. Nasty. It does not taste good. It tastes like a tire. <sighs> Gary, 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 Green Dog, Green Dog. Um, you know what I Kyle, like? Kyle, is that apple good? What? Yeah. Sounds like it. What do you like? I like the way we are creative in promoting events, and I hope that it's Recognized. noticed. Recognized, mm, appreciated. It's not going to be. Huh? No way. No way. You think KLIN is doing that? The ones that are now they're going syndicated. We should just. Do you think that they're being creative and promoting the garage sale, Kyle? No, no way. way. No way. Are no they? way. And also, listen here. Let's let's talk about this. We need some people really to come buy this crap. Yeah. Because how cool if our crap that we advertise sells. Well, let me tell you something, okay? A lot of these are going to be joke, joke stuff, but it's almost oh, a real, bait. It's almost it. a bait and switch because when you get there, there's going to be some great stuff with the Gary and Johanna collection. We got to have our own shelves. I don't want my stuff mixed with the other people's. No, let's have our own shelves. I'm really bringing the stuff I bring in here. I'm. I am too, but I'm, I may. I might have to overprice mine. I don't know if I can part with the shoes, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> Why can't you part with, do with them? Why can't you part with those? They're just sentimental value. You know what, what I mean? What is sentimental? I don't know. All those times I worked my calves. <laughs> what is sentimental? <laughs> I had really nice calves with those. You'll understand what it did for me. Got no, both, I don't. I had both heads on it and everything. I've never seen it. So I don't. <laughs> 
It's true. It's true. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's a good shot. Shots fired. I got it. A little rough around the edges now. Rough around the edges. I say very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> The Tracy's Collision Cam is live. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. Drive to theater. It's on the way. Our driver, Omar, is on his way to Panera this morning. He's going to go through the drive through with a different plan. You probably have noticed... We got a pregnant one. <laughs> I've had more than one person tell me they can see it in my face now. <laughs> so I don't want to hear this. Ugh. She's pregnant. Due in August. She got cravings already. She's craving something from Panera. Yes. What is it you're craving? I want, it's the, uh... Avocado, what? egg white, and spinach sandwich. Thank you. Mm. This is my assistant, Kyle. <laughs> You're already starting I'll to be do here the, all day. the pregnancy where you start forgetting The pregnancy stuff. brain. It's yeah. so bad. You have no idea how bad it is. Mm-hmm. Gary, I love how you tap your brain because you're trying to remember what you were going to say. He's that's not why I tap it. Brain? Because that's pregnancy brain. That's where she's up there. She's. No, I like to add extra recall. stuff for the camera, Kyle. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do today. Will it work? I don't know. Uh, my worry is that Panera is going to be busy and there's going to be a long line. I don't care. That's what Mama wants. Amar is going to Panera, and Amar is going to order and baby talk. <laughs> now, this is the part that needs to be worked out, and we haven't worked it out yet. Which part? Is he saying that my wife wants something? What, can, what, what are I going to be wife? That's why we need to work it out. Or is it... I mean, Does I don't he, care. No, I know, but hear me out. We have two options. Is it that or is it that Johanna from Froggy 98 who name drops? Mm. No, I just told you I don't want to be <laughs> name dropped there because I eat there all the time. Oh. I love it. I really do. And they had my card for like four days because I left it there. So they yeah. a lot of people saw my name. Like, I'm not talking about them knowing me because of Froggy 98, but knowing me because... Just seeing the girl my that name left so much. There? Yeah, <laughs> the girl who never picked up her debit card for like a week. So you'd rather be married then? I think I'll go married. Kyle, what do you like? Married? What's better for radio? Not what she wants. What's better for radio? <laughs> I like the name drop. I do too. I like oh the my name gosh. Drop. He'll say that he heard you talking on the radio, how you got, how you're so hungry for Panera, and he'll repeat the order. And then I think he's got to say, I got no money. She's a celebrity. And I have no money. No, he but, has no money. Amar has no money. He's just doing a favor no, for you. I, but if they reject him, I want the sandwich. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> then he'll have to pay. Same, like, oh, same. actually, I do. I was just trying to get it for free. <laughs> he'll have to own up to it. Oh, my gosh. And first of all, <laughs> you're wanting me to agree to something that you and I have both... Said, audibly said is the most embarrassing thing is when people I who, know, who I know, know who you are tell someone else, hey, this is Joanna from Froggy 98. And the other person's like, who, who is that? <laughs> but the difference is that you are it's him. It's not you saying, hey, I'm Joanna from Froggy 98. I've never done that. I've never I know, done that. I know you haven't. Nobody's accusing you of that. I know, but I'm saying it's uncomfortable when other people do it too. I think you're a big deal. Let's see how big deal you are. Oh, if they recognize your name. Oh my gosh, I'm going to throw up and crawl into a hole. <laughs> I don't even care. As long as I get the sandwich. I'm getting the sandwich, right? I mean, I'm actually really hungry. Oh, I want a tea, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amar says, LOL, that's I embarrassing. I think Amar is embarrassed to do this bit, too. He's embarrassed to drop my name. That's even more embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that's even more embarrassing. Okay, you can't go anywhere. you got to see how this ends, uh, turns out. We have no clue. It's drive through theater. Amar is going to be ordering for Johanna, who has uh, pregnancy hunger going on right now. Now we'll do it when we come back. Wake up, wake up. Gary and Johanna in the morning. Talk like. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Oh my gosh. Oh, the menu's so cute. 
I might just start oh. figuring out. <laughs> Getting the singing now. Now we change it, Slovenia. That's a good little boy. Yeah, I know. Don't you have I'm to throw in some goo goo gaga? Like, uh. Oh, like baby talk. Yeah, like, ooh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I want you. Mama, I want a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Mama wants a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Mama wants a Sammy. Uh, mm. My prediction is uh, they're not going to give it to us. Oh my gosh, but I really want this sandwich. No, he'll end up paying for it, and then we had to pay him back. I'll pay him. I know. I already said. But he, he, the deal is this is how Mark gets paid is we buy his breakfast. Oh, shoot. So I have to pay for double? I'll pay for his. No, I'll pay for his, but then do I still owe you lunch? Yes, well, you may owe me two anyway. No, you don't no, owe me I don't. lunch. I just no, I owe you one lunch. No, no, I owe you one lunch. No, I've just said the satisfaction no, of winning. No, I owe you one lunch. Right, no, thank you. He's you know why? Win. Because otherwise, you just hang it over my head. Hey, Omar, is he in the waiting room? Yep. No it, bring him in. Sure. I want to see if he's there. He's there. He's there. Hey, Mar. Hey, good morning, everyone. Hey, buddy. So, where is there a long line? Um, looks like there's like I want to say two or three cars. Oh, we need to get in line then. Why don't you go ahead and get in line? All right, sounds good. I can't we're doing the baby talk. Are you sure it's a good idea to do the baby talk? <laughs> Why are you backing out now? I don't know because yep. I want the sandwich. You're gonna get the sandwich. I want a sandwich too. You want a you sandwich do? too? Yeah, I'm hungry. So, Kyle and I can split it. Split that sandwich. That's a little sandwich, though, isn't it? No, split the bill. Right. Oh, okay. if, if right, so, get something. So I already heard like um, bits and parts of it. So I'm sorry. What, what did you want me to say? You were going to talk in baby talk. You were driving around this morning, and you heard on the radio that Johanna from Froggy 98 is pregnant, and she's craving Panera Bread. And I just wanted to get her a sandwich this morning. Gotcha. And then say, have you ever heard of her? Oh, I'm, can I just hand <laughs> for this? Because gotcha. as I say yes, that's the, then the next sandwich is, you know, do you guys want to give one to her for free? I'm actually on the radio with them now, just to see. Listen to me, okay. Or do you just want them to pay? You can just have them pay. How far? How many cars in front of you, Mar? I need the same. Uh, looks like I got two. Okay, it's that'll turn out about right. Okay. Depending on how fast the service is. You know, I just all of a sudden got this really great idea. What? Next say? week, we do the same thing, and we do a Gary name drop. That's fine with me. Good idea. Thank you, Amar. <laughs> <laughs> He's here for it. That don't bother me none. I, I, nobody's going to know who I am, so it don't matter. Oh, mama. <laughs> so this is the closest Panera to your house? Is there? There's not a Panera up north? There used to be one downtown, but I think it closed. I don't know if it's mm, still, it's still there. The one downtown? Yeah, I think it closed. I don't think so. Why would that one close? You I sure? thought it closed. It at least closed during, because they used to deliver to my house, and one day they said, no more delivery to your house. And I don't know if that's because I ordered too much, or... I just can't imagine that closing. I thought they got a lot of business. Yeah, it's closed. That's yeah. crazy. During the panty, <laughs> the old panty. I think it's still open. The one, the one downtown? Yep. It's not. Huh. There's one on Pine Lake and the one on O Street, folks. All right, Mar, hang on here, buddy. I Googled it. <clears throat> How many yeah. cars in front of you now? Uh, there's uh, two cars still. Okay. Golly, that's really nice. I don't know because you put laughy faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll walk through it. We'll walk through it here, Mar. Okay, buddy. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Drive through theater with Amar. He's at Panera. How many cars in front of EMR? We got two cars. All right. Oh, now we got one. Okay, now let's rehearse. Yeah, we, yeah, we haven't even heard his baby voice. <laughs> Can you talk to us in baby talk? <clears throat> oh, good. <laughs> oh. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta talk like that kind of too. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, um, <sighs> I think we have to sing. Don't over, I don't think over, we have to abort. Don't overthink it, Amar. <laughs> Just let it come out. 
say, my, my friend is so hungry in baby talk. My friend is so hungry. He goes Elmo, doesn't he? Every I time. think Elmo's <laughs> cute. Just let him do Elmo. You don't have to do the weird blah, blah, blah things that okay. Gary does. All right, you can do just Elmo. Do okay? Elmo. You can do Elmo. Baby. Elmo's in your wheelhouse. All right. <laughs> Are we close to the window? Oh, my gosh. It looks like there's um, just that uh, okay. uh, order. Now, listen, yeah. you've got to be in character when you first roll up. We don't want Amar at all. We want Elmo. We want baby voice, okay? What you're going to say is, good morning. You're going to say you were driving around and you heard Johanna on Froggy 98, who's pregnant, is craving Panera. I want to get her a sandwich. Okay, now he's pulling up right now to oh, order Jesus. drive through theater with Amar. <laughs> Number? I'm sorry. Are you reward number? I am not. I'll take it for you. Tell me one minute, please. Please All right, thank you. Say, okay, say. I'm driving around and I heard on the radio Johanna from Froggy ninety eight is hungry. Say that. Johanna from Froggy 98 is hungry. She's pregnant. Oh, my God. And she's pregnant. <laughs> Have you heard of her? Have you heard of her? <laughs> my pregnant... <laughs> my my pregnant friend... Say, my pregnant friend is hungry. My pregnant friend is hungry. Okay. I want to buy her... I want to get her a sandwich. I'll buy her a sandwich. One minute, please. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Get my sandwich, please. <laughs> what's, what's the sandwich? Get my sandwich. Avocado, egg white, what's... and spinach. Avo- avocado, <laughs> egg white, and spinach. In Elmo voice. <laughs> Can I get an avocado, white, white, egg sandwich, please? Okay, we don't have any spinach. Is that okay? Yes. One minute, please. That's fine. Ask if they have arugula. Oh my god. Do you have a reason that? We do. Can yeah, you get use... that. Get that. Can you use that? Okay. Say that would work. Yes, that would work. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. Do this this All right, thank you. So, do, now, wait a minute. No, do you no want we're to, done. Just get my sandwich. Let's go. Let's go. Omar, do you want a sandwich? I'm, gonna pre- I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Gary and Johanna in the morning. What? Are... <laughs> what? Why well, I tell I guess him? No, tell him nothing. I don't know. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go pee. What do you say? Tell him what? I don't know. I feel bad. We don't have a gift or nothing. Oh, they don't need a gift on this one. They don't need a gift on this one. Omar, if you want to order something though, it's too late. I nah, think. you can still do it at the window if you want. Oh, God. nah. Okay. I'm, I'm not hungry, but All right. uh, uh, thank you, though. Well, you oh, you pay for it, and then we'll Venmo you, okay? And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, they weren't too happy. <laughs> you could tell in the tone of the voice. I couldn't tell. What? Did, how could you tell that they weren't that happy? You don't think she sounded they're annoyed? Like, they're like, oh, did you want to order? Mm. I'm like... Okay, well. They can't all be Chick-fil-A and Krispy Kreme, can they? (laughs) That's true. Or McDonald's. Um, Was McDonald's good, too? They were, weren't they? Oh, yeah. They were amazing. Absolutely amazing. And, um, and yeah. (laughs) But, you know, um, sometimes things go good. Sometimes things go bad. But, you know, it is what it is. (laughs) Lamar, why don't you right now, you're still on on the cam here. Why don't you go ahead and talk to your fans for a sec? All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope everybody have. I hope everybody's having a great, uh, great day. Um, I hope to see everybody at the Froghead Beer event tomorrow. Um, remember, don't don't get too crazy. Don't get too drunk. <laughs> uh, stay safe out there. And if anybody ever needs a ride, um, you know, if you're not able to drive and you need a ride, let me know anytime. Are you doing Uber now, or are you just doing friend friend drive ride? Uh, just friend, uh, friend drive. Oh, you nice guy. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's just like you got to pay it forward and it's yeah. just, just be a good person. Yeah. And, you know, it costs nothing to be a good person. It's free. That's free. Oh, yeah. You... <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, Amar, thank you. You killed it again, man. We appreciate it. We'll, oh, see, yeah, we'll, see, we'll see you here at the station when you come drop that off. All right. 
Sounds great. And as always, let me know if you guys ever need anything. You bet. Sounds good, Mark. Alrighty. Thanks, man. We'll yep. see you, bud. All right. Take care. Do you already do it by it? No, he's still alive. We talked to his fans and everything. Yeah, I don't want to be there when he gets the food. Why? Are you embarrassed? You name dropped me. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> it is embarrassing. It's super Kyle, embarrassing. Oh, you got double Gary. Oh, there he goes. Double Gary. I like it when they do that so you can see how crappy the other camera is. <laughs> got a real good look at that. Mm. Well. It sounds like he's coming out to the to the party. Ain't no party like a frog head party. Yeah. He must have got off work for that. Anybody else coming out? I gotta, go get, I gotta go get some big green shirt. I think I'm too fat for all my green shirts. I thought about that. I don't know. I don't think I have one. <gasps> no. <laughs> what is it? Bick just messaged me. I made a joke. I made a joke. It wasn't a good joke. It was a gross joke. Where? Out there? Because one time I used the boys' room because the girls' room was full. Whatever. And so he's like, oh, you're using the women's restroom today. I said, I only use the boys' room when I poop. <laughs> <laughs> gross. It's not true. It's not true. That is so gross. Not That's true. not ladylike. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I would never hear. I can't even, like, at my family's house. Got to be my own throne, you know? <laughs> uh, we have a uh, we have a taller toilet, like, in the in our new basement bathroom. How does it make your circulation cut off? They're all legs? tall. I've, I feel like I've sat on some shorties lately. Now, wait a minute. What am I it's been to shorter say? to sit in your toilet or other. No, places? I'm wrong. They're all short now, right? Because they've got to be uh, compliant with. I don't know. Mine's not like it's not like super tall, but it's taller than taller, average. Taller, taller than average. Do your toe, feet touch? Yeah, they touch, but my knees aren't all up in my face. Sometimes I feel like I'm squatting on some of these toilets. That's how you're. That's the position you're supposed to be in. You're supposed poo. to put your feet on the yeah, you're, seat. Uh, like yes, you're supposed to like. Bring it's them supposed up. to be like a bench, right? Like, because technically our bodies are made to squat poop. Yeah, we're not supposed to be sitting on no damn toilet. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I like my, I like my throw. Do it next time. Put your feet on it when when have, change it. Your It'll wife change your in. life. Have we'll you tried it before? Life. Yeah, I have. <laughs> no, you have not. Yeah, do you know I used I to live even, in Cambodia? First of all, I can't you know even what bend I was pooping in there. I Literally a hole. I in couldn't. Ground. My knees, toilet. my knees are not good. I had to do it standing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you want to talk yeah. about gross that's the worst thing I've ever envisioned in my life <laughs> yeah like that that's how you're supposed I to I guarantee go. you won't be I, on your phone very long I feel like my d- legs, legs are burning yeah. it's like wall sits it's like get it in and get it out Whew. my legs are burning after mm. yesterday's workout you know, I'm burning. My whole body is in pain. It's on fire. I'm sore. And all I did was blow up water balloons yesterday. <laughs> you got, how many water balloons are you blowing up? A lot. Is it everyday water balloons? You got I, one of the those last things? two days has been water balloons. Where are you throwing them? You got one of those things you plug They're in? They're just and throwing them at each other. Outside, though, no, right? No, I didn't. I'm too cheap to buy those, Kyle. I know. Those are expensive. I know. I hope Dane buys them. And then I buy the other one, so I feel like it, I don't know. Kyle copied me, okay, for sure. Yeah, 100%. I was like, sup, girl? What are you wearing today? Send me a picture. Yeah, and then he. And then I was like, cool. One. Why do you? It's Something I was going to talk about, but I decided not to. Oh. I see. Yeah, I don't want to get into it. Okay. We're going to have a guy on here coming up. We'll be talking about him in a second, but 
He's been wanting to come on the show, and we're trying to find a spot for him. And we're going to test this a pilot run here on something. But usually when you do a pilot, it's a scripted out, you know what I mean? Like it's all planned. You got It's going to be great because mm-hmm. we have to impress people. Mm, not this one. Ours, we're not sure what's going to no. happen. One Goffer. Goffer. You and Mama coming out tomorrow? Probably not, I guess, since you guys are in Korea. John said he can't because he has to work. John does? What's John doing? <clears throat> Gary, 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 Gary. It's a good song, isn't it, Becca? Finish it, though. Green Dog, Green Dog. I like it. It used to just be Greenwood, and then I went to Green Dog. I don't know why. Woof, woof. I was sad the other day. This is, I saw obituary of a Gary. Oh. I thought, with everyone, the name is dying. You know what I mean? Like, because nobody How really do you know? Gets, because nobody's naming kids Gary anymore. You know, this so old guy might be a Gary. Okay. What if I named this baby Gary? I don't think your husband liked that too much. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I get a pick because he got picked for the first ones. Kind of. Yeah. What are you going to do? What? What are you going to do? What do you mean what am I going to do? Gary, uh, what are sister you gonna kisser, do? Burrish. What? I mean, are you going like oh, like, plain Jane name? Or are you going? I have multiple things picked out. You do. I'll know when I see him. Yeah. So what I did with the twins. Eternal I had a bunch of names picked out, and then I knew we knew when we saw him. Mm-hmm. Except for the girl was always going to be Philo, no matter what. No matter what. It didn't matter. I like that. Me too. Um. Yeah. Um, what's the boy's name? Frankie. Frankie. My son, Frankie, your godson. Yeah. I don't know why Hunter kept coming on my head. No. Yeah. Frankie. We'll see you, Dab. Take care now. Okay, Hi. no problem, Mar. Gary, 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 Gary. What is Philo from? Uh, her birth certificate name. It's Philomena, which she told me she does not like. So <laughs> she doesn't like Philomena. <laughs> no, I go. I was like, no, that's your name. It's Philomena. We just call you. Fi- it's Philo, but it's Philomena. And she's like, no, it is not. I am Philo Jean. I was like, well, that's fine. You can change it when you. Philomena ain't gonna like it much. First day of school here for the first. Uh, oh, she'll correct him. Seven, eight years. Oh, she will correct him. Gary, Gary. She's been like she entered. Deuces herself to people randomly now so like and it's weird because she'll like skip over a bunch of people so like let's say we're like in a store and people will pass by us and she just does not bother and then randomly she'll just pick one person and she'll be like hey my name's philo jean <laughs> just like randomly i'm She's like coming out of her shell a little bit then huh yeah a lot better i mean i don't know if she would round you though Why? i don't understand that i don't know i don't either yeah there's something scary about you, I guess. It's just intimidating, you know. Frank is an old name. No, well, we don't really call him Frank. Philo calls him Frank. I don't know why. We don't ever call him Frank, but Philo calls him Frank. <laughs> I like it. I do too. Yeah. It's one of those old strong names. Mm-hmm. And Frankie is cute, but Frank is not a. You can't respect a Frankie. I don't you know. need him to be respected. I need him to live in my house for the rest of his life and just be <laughs> mommy's little boy. I don't ever want my kids to grow up. I know what happens. It happens. Boop. I would like them to stop coloring on the walls. It's getting a little obnoxious. And you know how I know it's obnoxious? It's yeah. because my sister who came over came over yesterday who has triplets, and she's like, my God. <laughs> you have not put the fear of Jesus in them yet. Yes, I have. I, I'm just not scary. Hmm. I guess I'm just not a scary mom. I feel like I've yelled really good. And the last time, Frankie just goes, Mom, <laughs> Mom, okay, you could just spank me and put me to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
was that like, means it was worth it to him to write on the wall. Yeah, he I don't knew care. it was coming, and he still wrote. Yes. I know. Thank you, Kristen. I've told her that, and and she will not do it. You've seen this area. It's gotten yeah, better. I, I bought it's an odd spot. I bought I bought um some the special pink stuff. Anybody seen those videos of people cleaning up just crazy crap with the pink stuff? I think it's literally called the pink stuff. No, never. Well, I bought the special pink stuff and it ain't taking this marker off. I do not know where they found this marker. And I, I, what I'm scared is is I've never found the marker. So where'd they stash the marker? I hidden probably Ooh, under the couch. Yep. You got to find that marker. I know. Did they make any markers to where, like, it's like a blue light, like you can't see it unless there's a yes. blue light on it? Why no. don't you do that? Like, that would be fun for them. Maybe. Let them mark everywhere. Not yeah, that's blue not a light. Idea. There's those one. There's those ones that are, like, only can write on certain kind of paper. Yeah, Ashley, that's exactly what it is. They do not care. They literally, like, just... Oh. They rule our home. They are the real quick here. Things are going to change. I think when this baby comes, they're going to get a real reality check. Mama's going to be busy. Oh. Gonna be, and then they're going to be and entertaining I'm gonna say, themselves. You know why this baby came? Because you guys drew on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted oh, to man, redo. I cannot wait. They're going to. They they are not going to like this new baby. Oh my gosh, Frankie's going to freak out. Philo seems like one who would go creep, like go into the room and then like. Drop the baby out and be like, Mom, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Hand sanitizer, Missy. I ain't tried that yet. Somebody said try perfume, too. Mm. That gets it off. Permanent marker? I don't even think this is permanent marker. I don't know what kind of marker it is. It's a shade of blue. It. I've never seen a permanent marker. Why don't you just paint it with the old... Everybody keeps, like, a little bit of the Oh, color. yeah, everybody does, except for my husband. No, he didn't. When we had the fire, he threw away all the paint that was in the garage. I don't even know what color it was. So now I have to repaint my whole house. That's the worst. I hate painting. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's like more of the prep work. There he is. Come on in, buddy. <gasps> that sucks. Do you have a receipt? I'll pay you right now. What the hell? <laughs> How much was it? Do you remember? Was it more than that? Mm, I think it was. It was six nineteen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just can't give him seven. How do you know how mm. much it was, Kyle? Because I was looking at the menu. Oh, it was six nineteen. <laughs> Some I've been mowing. Sounds good. Hey, buddy. Thank you, Omar. You're the best. You're a lifesaver. Thanks for getting up and doing that. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so I do apologize about. Uh, I know, like. You me like 6 no, nothing to apologize. It all worked out. It was great. People loved it. Oh, yeah. It was a hit again, man. Awesome. Is there anything else you guys need no. Me? You guys good? I'm good. good. We're all good, buddy. Awesome. Thanks, right, bro. Amara. I appreciate Thanks, man. you. We'll see you later, bud. Oh, yeah. we'll see you guys Have a good day. <clears throat> I'll take the shoes. You want them? No, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the tampons? They're not used. <laughs> they don't expire. Uh, They're individually wrapped still. They're individually wrapped yeah. still. This is the box this is, isn't I haven't even opened. opened the box yet. Sell yeah. them per, sell them per, I, per, per, per tampon? Yeah. Ooh, now that's a brilliant. You can make more money doing that. Yeah. I knew you were in charge for a reason. Yeah. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I take that as he liked the bit. That's my guess. He liked the bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I hear. Is that what you guys hear? That's what I heard. I saw Penthouse Amy walk by. She didn't say nothing about no buying no shoes or tampons. Oh, she listens to KLIN now. Does she? She switched. Oh, my gosh. Why? Can you do this for me? Can you type that in? Or no, why you know? would she do that when Jack's not even there? They've got part-timers in there. Oh, Johanna. On my face. I need the last four visits. Oh, are you did. trying to do here? <laughs> if you don't know. What if it works? So well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Last four what? You can skip that. You can? Mm -hmm. Pay without confirming. Oh. <laughs> and the button was right underneath it. Oh, thank you. 
You're welcome. I had to take my kid into school. I missed drive through theater. Did they win the tickets? Bubba mm. wants to know. Bubba, they did not. We didn't have any for them today. Yeah, we were going to do an IOU, but didn't even get that far. I don't know, Slovenia. Kyle, are you just making that up that we lost Penthouse Amy? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, oh. no syndication, guys. We're not syndicated. We're not material syndicated. There you go. What? <laughs> Favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Camp. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. We're all about growing this family we got here. Lamar has joined the cast. John sometimes will join the cast. John Goff. And we have another one who's wanting to be a part of the team. His name is Joe. I don't know what it is about Joe. Can you tell me what it is about? What 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 do we like about him? Um, he he just is like has a natural just like sweetness to him. Yeah. Very sweet and innocent seeming, but then randomly pulls out things like like he received some pictures I never would have guessed that he would have received. Right. You know. Kind of, yeah, I think I think he's full of surprises. Mm-hmm. But overall, he just is like real sweet, like those one of a kind people that you're like, how do you still exist in the world? You don't see him very often. No, anymore, you do don't. You? So when we see him, we snag him. Now I think he's wanting to be a radio star. That's my guess. He it enjoys all, being on. For he sure. does. He does. He does. And and I think people like having him on. So we're trying to find a spot for him, and we come up with an idea. We're going to do a test run on it today, and it may fail. This may be garbage. We don't know how well this is going to turn out. This is a pilot. It's a pilot idea. We have a lot of these, and some of them don't go anywhere. Like the one that we're supposed to do on Friday, we're still looking for. You see the one where Johanna is going to, she still hasn't done it, got a pee on pregnancy test. Surprise, the boyfriend or husband, I'm pregnant, to just to see his reaction when they're obviously not. Pilot. That's a pilot. Yeah. We don't know if it's going to go well. You you did some, you asked some people, they think it's going to be funny on the side on that one. Yeah, the people I asked think it's going to be funny. Yeah. So we'll see. Kind of like the thing we got for Joe today. It's called Story Time with Joe. Now, we didn't run this by anybody. You and I think it's going to be good, possibly. Kyle, what are your thoughts on it? I like it. You do? And I think it's exciting for the listeners because you may be part of the first and the last of something. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that tells you what one. he really thinks. <laughs> uh, the idea is this. Joe is going to tell a story. Now, we have an idea what the story is, what it's kind of about, but we have no idea the journey that he's going to take us on with the story. And he only has 60 seconds to tell it. All right. That's it. It's really pretty, a uh, pretty simple idea. Right. What makes it, we think, what makes it possible to be great is just Joe and how sweet and endearing he is. And he says things that, that you'll be kind of surprised that maybe he says. All right. <laughs> uh. Like when he told us, I don't want to tell you what the theme of today's story time with Joe is. It was surprising. I couldn't believe it. It was surprising. And that's the first place his brain went. It yeah. just it was surprising. out of left field. Yeah. We said, if you had to tell a story right now, what would it be? And immediately he told us about something in second grade or third grade, was yeah. it? Yeah. Like immediately that was what he thought of. Yeah. There's got to be more to it, you know, then? If that's the first thing he thought of, right. there's got to be more to it. We're going to find out. Story time with Joe, the pilot edition is coming up. <laughs> He'll be joining the show via the Tracy's Collision Cam next. Season one, episode one, the pilot. I think I have to wait to eat this until we're not on the. Why? Because I don't want people to watch me eat. You, you already so conscious about it? I just already feel like a big old fatty, and then I'm going to shove my face full of food on the camera. You're not know. fat. Would you just stop it already? You're not fat. I'm pregnant. 
You're pregnant, Johanna, but you still have to tell people you're pregnant. I still have to tell people. Yeah. What do you mean? You can't just look at it and say, oh, look, there's a pregnant woman. You can't tell yet. No, it just. Not unless you wear skin tight clothes. Wear skin tight clothes or wear like midriff or something. No. Want people to know? No. You can't tell, can you, Kyle? No. Not until she stands up and, and know tighten your shirt up. A woman wants to know, wants people to know. When you've announced it now, it's like, okay, I want everybody to know and say something sweet. Don't touch me. <laughs> just say something sweet. <laughs> uh, uh, Pregnancy is beautiful, Deb. It is. It's not, it's not the most fun thing. No. But it's amazing. I'm very grateful, thankful for my body that is capable. Omar, Omar, go home and break out the vodka. What? I just think you're a baby making machine. Why would you even say that to me? I'm I'm having a very average, average, normal. But you've been careful. We've talked about this, and I don't know if this is for radio or not. Okay, but please you purpose- just talk about it then. But you purposely have, have been scheduling mommy daddy stuff to where there's no way possible. So you're staying out of danger water. Sharks are deep in, you're going to be in shallow end. Yeah. <laughs> but somehow shark got into the shallow end this time. He snuck in where he wasn't supposed to. Florida waters, man. They like them shallow. Yeah. Listen, I also turned 30, remember? And you spoke you spoke that, that evil. That does on not me. mean you're more fertile at 30. You spoke that evil on me. You said dirty, dirty. Oh, yeah, I know. Like that I means you went you went crazy. in the deep water, dude. <laughs> yes, you did. You went in the deep water. I don't know. Yeah. It's been so long ago. <laughs> I don't remember. Hmm. Are you sure you guys are gonna be okay with us putting cameras up in your house for August and September? What do you mean? When we put the cameras in your house. I don't care, but everybody's going to get a lot of boob action because I'm when I'm with the twins, I never wore a shirt. <laughs> what do you mean? You wore walking around the house with no shirt on? Pretty much all like the time. Like Africa? I was breastfeeding. Think about this. <laughs> Constant. Every Why wouldn't you put a hours, shirt on? I didn't. I really didn't. Barely ever. You just walked around the house pretty with them much. out. Yeah, when I was home by myself. Yeah, pretty much. I can't even imagine you doing that. Imagine this, though. I had to feed them every two hours to keep them on a schedule, but every two hours. So, but I would take me thirty minutes to breastfeed. So every hour and a half, really, I was restarting breastfeeding. I get it, but how much time does it take to do this? No, I just lay there in the bed watching Friends with my boobs out. On the side. <laughs> Maybe like here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Everybody get a nap. Uh, Man. It's really attractive. It sounds like you're. See, Audrey, husband. same. See, she gets it. You just like when, when you're. Walk leaving. around naked? I don't even understand it. Why not? Because it doesn't take but two seconds to pull your shirt up. It's just, it just can't be bothered. You just. Don't I get it. it. I guess I no, get, you do don't get understand. it because you it's don't natural. It. It's natural not to wear clothes other than, you know, he's still, caveman still covered private parts. Let's say you were going to eat something every hour. Wouldn't you just leave the food out? No. I think I would you put it in the put refrigerator. You go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? It depends. Like if I, I'm not going to, I don't want to eat at night what I had in breakfast. At some point well, that's got to be refrigerated. don't get that luxury, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't go with you on that. Hey, is uh, Joe on? Mm-mm. Why, late did you message party. him? No, we said use the last one we sent him. We'll just message him again. Yeah, I better message him again. I hit him up, I hit him up, I hit him up. Heather, Gary just looks at himself in the mirror and then he puts his clothes back on. No, right now I don't. I haven't been to jiu-jitsu in a month. It ain't looking like it did. Before, yeah, I'd take a look. Not but now. yeah, I wish I could wear the clothes Brianna wears when she's pregnant. She is, I just don't feel that great to do that. Is- Thank you, Megan. See? I'm not the only one. Walk around naked? This is new for guys. We had no idea. <laughs> it's not an attractive naked. Whatever the boys have in their head, just think like. It's not attractive, not attractive. naked. Not when you're feeding, no. No, and also you're just like, just had a baby. And like, just everything's wrong. Everything's not right with your body. It's Weird. going through some things. 
That's like the... What the hell? Where did I put this story time? Didn't I put it in the system, Johanna? Yeah, you did. did yes, you did, about? 100%. Did you put story time? Did you call it story time? Yeah, I, I think I did. Uh, oh, here it is. Like, I cannot believe when I search story time, if I put in story time, it doesn't come in because I didn't put a GJ in front of it. This has got to be it, yeah. Does it say GJ story time? Then I would say 100%. Got him. I did, Jennifer, I have a Hawka. I used it last pregnancy or last breastfeeding time. And it is amazing, except for... Ooh, a Hawka, yeah. But I didn't use it very often because I was... I had twins, so I always had one on a boob. Always had one on a boob. Do you ever do two at a time? Yeah, that's what I mean. I always had, that's, the hot goes for the other one when you're not using it, but I always had two babies attached to me. One time. Hmm. Yeah, but Frankie always ended first, so then. He always ended first? Usually. Because he's a faster eater or because? He was a really lazy eater. It was like he got bored. (laughs) He got bored on it. He would just like roll off. He was full. <laughs> <laughs> like when a tick, you know, yeah. <laughs> falls off. I love it when they fall asleep, though. Yeah. And then every yeah. once in a while they still suck. Yeah. It's live. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. Okay, we're going to try this out this morning. This is called Story Time with Joe. Joe is, again, somewhat auditioning to be a part of the show, to be a regular member on the show. This is the pilot of Storytime with Joe. He's joining us now via the Tracy's Collision Cam. And let's tell you the idea here. As Joe gets that up. We're going to... We're going to give Joe approximately 60 seconds to tell a story. All right? And there he is. Hey, Joe, you got to turn your mic on there, I think. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How you doing, Joe? Great. Are you excited to be on the show? Yeah. Oh, well, we're excited to have you. We've kind of we've kind of told everybody what's going on. This is called Story Time with Joe. So, Joe, what we're going to do is you're going to tell. It's almost like a you're going to hear some music, and it's going to sound kind of like a baby baby music when you know when you tell a baby a story. Like once it's a bedtime gonna, story, lullaby. Yeah, yeah. This is a once upon a time story. So that's how it's going to start, and then it's going to end with the end, which is how. When you're reading to a baby, the end. All right. <laughs> so we asked you today, we said, Joe, if you were to tell a story right now, what would it be? And Joe immediately goes back to when he was in what grade, Joe? Second grade. Second grade. So Joe is going to tell a story. It's a story time with Joe about when he was in second grade and he did something that the other kids did not do. All right. So I'm going to get you into this, Joe, and then you're going to take off. (laughs) Okay. Once upon a time, I was in second grade, and that's where you go. I took tap dance class uh, on weekends, and I was the only boy in my class to ever do it. It seemed like fun to try out, so I went out for it and I started liking it. Well, then they had me do dances with girls around me where I was dancing to Hit the Road Jack and uh, con- uh, where they had me wearing a muscle vest it's and I was flexing second. my muscles. It's second grade. Yeah. So you were like the hot guy. Wait a second. I thought this was going to be a story about how oh, you got made hot, fun of. Yeah, uh-uh. But you were the yeah, I was made fun of because oh. it turns out some of the girls <laughs> turns out some of the girls had their brothers, which were in my grade, go to the recital and then that's how I got made of. And uh they ended up recording me, so after that I didn't do dance. Oh, again. oh this is a sad, sad story. story. You were the OG magic mom. But I mean I had fun. I mean I had 
I about had a girl <laughs> take me out. I had a girl about take me out because she had to sit on my knee and I wasn't braced yet. So when she wrapped her hands around my head, I about went over. Oh, I thought you were going to say she took you out like on a date. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Solid second grade date. No, because we were doing the hit the road, Jack, and at the end, I go down on one knee, and she sits on my knee with her hands wrapped around my neck, and she went down before I braced myself, oh, so then... No. Is anybody else in present who remembers, like, dance moves from a second grade thing? I, I don't like, know. I, don't, I, look grade. Back at my, I look back at my childhood almost every single weekend wondering... Should I have just kept doing dance even though I got embarrassed for it? Yeah, where would you be now if you were still in tap? Well, I mean... I... No, he oh, Joe, you clicked... Oh, no. my... There you are. And, well, I could probably be On teaching Broadway. dance also. Okay. Crushing yeah. life and crushing girls. Joe? You, do you think you can remember some moves? <laughs> Some, yeah. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what we'll do. It's we'll invite you on the show. I'll get hit the road, Jack. We'll play the music. And we'll bring this back to life. Yeah. Okay? We'll make them little toes happy again. Maybe you still got it. Yeah, I probably still do. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> <In the comments. laughs> yeah. Like and I comments. think that's where the story ends. The end. Right, Say Joe? it. The end. Thank you. Joe, I tell you what, I know that you work in the mornings, but if you want to, if you feel like it, you bring, and I think it would be great, bring them. Do you have tap shoes? You don't, do you? They are not going to fit them. No, I don't have tap shoes anymore. Do you need them? We can um, just, no, I can probably do it in tennis shoes. Why don't we just tape the bottom of his tennis shoes like some bottle caps or something? Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I've yeah. got some shoes that might work. <laughs> <laughs> These clunkers over here. <laughs> might be well, hard. let's think about this, and we'll get you back on the show to do uh, a recital for everybody, okay? Okay. All right, Joe. Nice work, buddy. Yeah. Okay, Thanks. man. We'll see you later. See you, brother. All right. Bye. 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 All I could think of when he told that story, and I don't want to say it on the air, is stepbrothers, when they make fun of him and say he got a mangina. You know what he's <laughs> saying? Brennan's got a mangina. When he's doing got the recital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really mean of you. <laughs> I know. I couldn't. I know. Oh, I should have looked further down the menu. This Chipotle chicken scrambled egg and avocado wrap looks really good. You. I know. There's so much goodness on that menu. I didn't get any. I know. Yeah, Amar, would you welcome Joe to the team? <sighs> Joe needs to come out for Froghead Beer Night. You know what? I didn't even think about that. That's a good idea. I don't know if you're on here, Joe, or not. I can't remember what he said he does for a living. You know? He works at, uh, he's a know. certified Piedmontese. I still... A butcher. No way. I think he works at, yeah. Oh. My boyfriend works with Joe, Shelby says. Why don't we... I think we need to do... What you thinking, girl? I still think we need to do, at some point, the comedy club or the comedy off or something. Joke off? We need a trophy. Between, yeah. We need a trophy. But we need more cast members. No, I agree. Like I think that also what I want to do is I want to I want to have Amar and Joe on, and I want Joe Amar to tell Joe what it takes to be on the team. Ooh, I like it. You know, and we could help. We could help with that a bit. Now you got the Brennanism in. <laughs> <laughs> I have stories. What my boyfriend says, Joe tells him. In a day, I bet. Oh, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> yeah, he looks so innocent, but I don't know. Story time with Shelby. I, we still gotta crack his code. Yeah. Might have to. Might have to. Nope. What? It's it was there, and it wasn't good. <laughs> you lost it, or you gave up on it? No, I didn't like it anymore. She got the. Uh, yeah, no, I got it. No, I got the filter brain now for some reason. We can't have filter brain. 
That's not what you what got you to the big leagues. Filled the fish. No, but now that I'm in the big leagues, I know what's good and what's not. I know, but now he is not innocent, Shelby. Said. <laughs> Shelby, um, message me and tell me the kinds of things we should ask him. Mm-hmm. Shelby, message me or sh- message the show. Um, because we just don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we don't know if it's kid kid gloves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, Kyle and I look freaking ridiculous. That <laughs> we are so bright. Take your sweater off. I don't have a shirt on underneath. Yeah, of course you don't. One <laughs> K <1K> day. <laughs> that feels miserable. Why? You ever uh, worn a sweatshirt with no shirt on underneath? I love it. I like how it feels on you. Yeah, and also you don't understand. I got everything's just ballooning up on me right now. And... Everything what? Everything's just getting big, and I just need to wear a big sweater. <laughs> no. Well, you're size two now, probably, yeah? It's funny. Uh, Brennan has a mint. <laughs> Gary, Gary, who Gary, thinks Gary, of that? Gary, like, who Gary. thinks, like, these, these writers are so good. <laughs> I would just love to be a part of, like, a table writing like that. Yeah. I wear sweatshirts with no shirt on all the time, Christina says. I don't get it. Because I knew it was going to be warm today, and I didn't want to layer up, okay? And, like, also, I'm just, like, in this... I need to go shopping. I have no clothes. You're too big. I'm too big for my clothing. Yeah. Things just don't aren't fitting right. What are you gonna the, wear tomorrow? I don't know. I'm gonna try to fit into some jeans again, but I don't think it's gonna work. I gotta. They're gonna be tight, huh? I don't think I can get a button at this point. I've made it all the way up until last week, which is pretty impressive. Just wear sweatpants. No. Kyle, are you coming tomorrow? Yeah, I can I can be there for a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Why? You know why? Because he has plans for the Patrick's Day. No. Why? Why then? Too old for that. It's like Thursday. Ugh. Why for a little bit then? Not a lot, just a little bit. We don't want to say, Joanna. I'm telling you this. You know Best what I have to, to look do. forward to? And I know you don't like it, but I do. Corned beef and cabbage. I really want some yummy corned beef and cabbage. They're not going to have any there, are they? No, but I'm going to... I'm going to make some. I want some afterward. It's like my little treat. I don't think I've ever had corned beef and cabbage. I love it. Doesn't I think I love good. the cabbage. I don't know what I think about corned beef sometimes. Because sometimes it's like too stringy for me. But I really like corned beef or the cabbage part. Oh, Missy, where's Billie Eilish? Oh, she's playing in Omaha tonight, huh? I thought you did Lent, no meat. Tomorrow's Thursday. What's that mean? You only don't eat meat on Fridays. Oh, is that right? Yes. That ain't no sacrifice. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> you know it. You know why they did it? Thanks, Darren. It's kind of, I'll be honest, so nobody come for me. But in the whole scheme of things, it's become. it's gotten very far away from why they, it was originally done. It was originally done because... Meat was more expensive than fish. So it was a sacrifice, like, monetarily to not, like, you don't want to spend be a splurger, like, spend too much. So it was like, oh, you only buy fish because it's cheaper to buy fish. Mm-hmm. But now it's become like, and it was supposed to be just fish. You don't make a big meal about it. It's just like you eat as minimal as possible. Yeah. And now it's become like, like it's like almost like a celebration, and I like fish. <laughs> You guys go to fish fries and stuff? Mm-hmm. Do you? And they're good. I love them. I'm a favorite. I need to explore all these places. Um, they're sandwich fish sandwiches. I like a good fish sandwich. I love a good fish sandwich. And I'm telling you this. I know it's contrary to popular belief, but McDonald's has a freaking good, the filet fish at McDonald's is. Sometimes they put too much mayo on that stuff for me, though. Oh, but I could eat t- a tub of mayo. As long as it's real mayo. I don't you, like Miracle Whip. Do you think Long John Silver's kills it during Lent? I don't know. I've n- I've never eaten there. What? I've never eaten there. I I've also eaten, never eaten there. it. I've said this a million times, but Taco Bell. <laughs> what happened to Kyle's segment of Word on the Street? Rumor has it. Did we have that with Kyle? 
Well, why did we have rumors? What was the first rumor? Uh. Oh, it was about the basketball coach. Mm-hmm. Okay, Andrea, I am willing to try that fish there. I love a good fish sandwich. Is this a good fish sandwich? You please tell me. Yeah, rumor has it. Rumor Why has it. Why did we do that bit? Because about the basketball player. Women, women's, women's basketball, basketball team. coach. That's right. You got another one, Kyle? Mm-mm. <laughs> I got nothing spicy. I can look. See what we can find. No, we ain't got time today, but you can do rumor has it tomorrow if you get one. We have to find. Listen. We got to find somebody if we're going to do. Friday. Is he the one? Does anybody? Because we had two girls, but one, it would have to be two separate video things, and the other one can't do it. Or, yeah, can't do it. Doesn't think they can do it. I don't know. Anyway, nothing booked. So, anybody else know anybody or is anybody who wants to do the prego test prank? Yeah, you're going to fake out your boyfriend or whoever. And tell them you're pregnant, but you're really not. Oh. Um, I gotta think about my item tomorrow that I'm gonna bring. I know I have one, but it's like we gotta be thinking about how we're gonna present this for real. Like they're not gonna want us to have our own shelving system. Why do you even go there? I just say that's what we're doing. I don't even think about what people, we have to bring what shelf they want, in. What they don't want. Sounds you know how like, they set up the tables beforehand. Sounds like the strong man who isn't pregnant is going to be doing that. Oh, you mean with a separated rib? Oh, so you want me to do it? Okay, so let's see how that makes you look. And the pregnant girl who's like half your tight is. You know what Demi Moore shelf? did up until she was nine months? What? Demi Moore. Oh, she did a car Ran wheel. marathons. She did a car wheel. Okay. She ran marathons. <laughs> wow. Did she carry a shelf? A light shelf. She would have. No, she did she not. Asked she would have never it. You think she needs a man to do that? Come on I now. am not a Girl feminist. Power. Men can do I all am. the work. I am. Guess I'm all about yeah, of women. You I'm are. more about women than you are. Yeah. On YouTube. to your Irish accent. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the event tomorrow. We're having Froghead Beer Party at Hubby's Timeout Bar. I need time. to hear somebody do it. I... <clears throat> do, do the bloomers. Do you have one? Do the bloomers. <clears throat> Does your mother know you're out in your bloomers? Oh, oh. That's so good. I got so another one. Good. All right. Those are some nice knickers you got. Those are some nice knickers you got. The only two things I can say. Ask me to say anything else, and there is no accent. <laughs> Come out tomorrow for the Froghead party. See? Oh, I'm, you a, end I'm high. a teacher. You end high on it, huh? Well, I get, yeah, my, huh? my first sentence, yes. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to. I, this is what he's saying. That's oh. good. You're doing a good job. Yeah, I wasn't. Oh, he said, huh, at the end. You're doing a good job. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> Five to seven. <laughs> that sounded yeah, a little like different. I don't, I don't care. I like it. I like it. So we're going to be at Hobby's Timeout Bar tomorrow. It's only the second one of these these parties that we've we've thrown. There probably will be more in the future, but let's just take one at a time. This is only the second opportunity that you've had to try the beer. It's a big deal. How often have you ever heard of a radio station having its own beer? And this is not crap Damn. beer. No, this is quality. <laughs> this is quality. <laughs> Why did I go there? Yeah. Why did I go there? <laughs> You're welcome. This is craft beer. Yes. <laughs> Other radio station would do crap beer. We don't. No. We have this stuff is coming from a different state. Not to say that the beer here would be crap, but, <laughs> but we really found the right brewer to brew this beer for us. Yes. And they'll be delivering, and they must have already delivered. I would have guessed today's Wednesday. The beer to hubbies. It'll be on tap. Is it going to be green? I don't know. I don't know either. No idea. I think that they can only do that, right, if they do it at the brewery? Do you guys know they can add droplets? Like you can. Yeah, but I don't want to look and see some dude dropping stuff in my beer. Yeah. And you don't want to do a whole keg of green beer. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if they did like pitchers. 
If they do, they do. I'm not, I mean, I'm I'm good either way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like drinking colored beer. I'm just not. Like the red beer for Husker games. and I don't That's know. a thing. I like red beer with like tomato juice in it. Yeah. That's yummy. Never tried it. <gasps> wow. So yummy. Never tried it. It's a Midwest staple, man. It's That's so a Midwest staple. Yeah, I, I went that. to I went to an Applebee's in another state, and they didn't know what I was talking about. You asked for it at an Applebee's? If yeah. You put tomato. I asked for a red beer. And it wasn't on the menu? And then he goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, you know, like Bloody Mary mix or tomato juice and beer? And I'm like, nope. Not here. Interesting. Not here. Huh. And I don't know if it's going to be there tomorrow. We have no idea. We'll be out there. The beer will be out there. And a chance to win a bunch of concert tickets, too, including Snoop Dogg, Jason Aldean, and Dustin Lynch, and, and others as well. Uh, five until seven, anytime between there. Come on by. We'll be out there hanging out. Again, it's at Hubby's Timeout Bar, 27th at Superior. It's our next Froghead Beer Tap Takeover. For more details, you can head to froggy981.com. Guess where? Where? Guess where? You're listening to Gary and Johan. Beer. You ever put, Kyle, I, I can see you maybe doing this. My dad used to do it all the time. You ever put salt in it? Yeah, I put salt in it. You Ooh. are an avid drinker. Why? Because I like red beers? You know red beer, you know salt beer, you know orange beer, you know all yeah. kinds of beers. Pickle beer? Pickle yeah, orange beer. beer is good. I like beer. I, I actually like to drink beer. You like the taste of it? Yeah, I actually do. A like bottle. a few. I don't like to. I could never be like, yeah, let's party on a bunch of beer. Like I couldn't do that. <laughs> but like bloated. I like to drink a couple beers. Yeah. yeah. I say that, but then I got like O'Doul's when I first got pregnant with the twins, and I remember being like, "Can I have some O'Doul's?" And then I had some, and I was like, "This is not good." It doesn't taste good, or you just didn't like the fact you couldn't get buzzed. I think that's why I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the beer tastes better the more you drink. Yeah, it does. It's so true. That's why I like the third beer the best. <laughs> third beer is your favorite? I think second is mine. Three, I should stop. Yeah, Ooh, celery salt. Okay. I may try that. Probably not. <laughs> I've become really boring the older I've gotten. I need to spice it up a little bit. Everybody gets boring the older they get, don't they? Except for me, I feel like I'm getting way cooler. Than me, maybe. Don't you're on a good you're on a good run at it. Alicia says my mom put salt oh and green olives God. in her beer. Oh, I love olives like so much. A martini, a dirty martini is my favorite drink of all time. That's my Careful. left. That was my left. Careful. With the baby. Don't want you to get in trouble for passing notes. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, okay, go. He passed well, I'm away. done now. I'll tell you what, from here on out, I'll call you out on the radio. <laughs> Read it. It's like it's classroom. He only did it one time. This is what's funny. No, he did not. Yes, he has That's only done right. it to me one time. He has only passed one note to me. Is that right, Kyle? Yes. That is correct. And it was That's where very I important. Watch, and it was literally <laughs> watch the internet because I was kicking the internet. No, there was another one. No, there was there not. Was A thousand percent no. you do not remember because yeah. there was only one. No, there was two. There was only one. I don't remember it, but there was two. That's okay. You pregnancy brain. You have CTE brain. You don't know what kind of brain I got. Yes, I know a CTE. Fly has CTE. I probably don't have CTE. I probably got my mom drank alcohol when she was pregnant. What's that called? Fetal alcohol syndrome? Yeah. Probably what I got. I think you're too handsome to have it. It affects your looks? I think so. You don't even know. I think it makes your eyes wider set. My boobies, my nipples are wider set. Maybe it just went down further. Wow, you're like a blessed one. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you should breastfeed. Oh, my God. Wednesday, Wednesday. Guys, you're making me want some olives now. I love olives, too. I don't like olives. I only like olives on my pizza. I love olives of all, all love I do olives. Too. Do you like the ones with the the piment the pimento? Pimento, uh, yes, I do. The inside, the red stuff on the inside, yes, I like that. I'm not a fan of red stuff. I eat it. I don't I like mean, the one with seeds in it. 
You like the one with the seeds? Mm-hmm. No, because you have to eat around the seed. It's very strange. But I'll eat it. Those but are pretty tart. What about like the big ones with like garlic stuffed? Oh, yeah. Or that one get me hungry. stuff on with feta sometimes. Do you go to the olive bar? Or, you ever seen the olive bar? No, but I would love that. They have one at Whole Foods, but I don't know if they have one. At, I think maybe Hy-Vee has one. I want an olive bar. Yeah. Wait. You just go to a place that has a bunch of olives. They've got like, it's like a salad bar, but it's all different types of olives. Can I get one of each? You get whatever you want. Can you sample them? I don't know. What if I bring my own toothpicks? You think it's like the deli counter where you want to taste them? I want to taste it. I can't, I'm not going to just like, there's that many olives. I, of course, I'm I don't not think it's a taste tester taste type situation. It needs to be. That many different kinds of olives? Of course, I haven't tasted them all. But you already admitted you like all olives. I think I do, but I I don't know how far it's been tested. It's true. Maybe there's an olive stuffed with something she doesn't like. Mm, interesting. And Marla doesn't like olives, but he likes the olive oil. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Russ is on Highway 2 and 33rd has an olive bar. Russ has got one. Mm. I was really, I was, I have to, I'll show you a picture. Um, when I first got Prego, I was really only wanting to Five eat. Five months ago? Yeah. I was really only wanting to eat um, pickled stuff, and now I have literally an entire shelf in my fridge that is all pickled. Anything you can name something, I bet I have it pickled. Cabbage. No, but I have, well, I have kimchi. Kimchi, I never, I've always said no to kimchi because it stinks. I love kimchi. But it is delicious. I eat kimchi straight. Like, I literally eat, a, I buy big ones from Costco and I eat it all myself within a month. You like it now. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like bok choy. That's I love bok kimchi. choy. Kyle, not, are you as cult, you're from Southern California. You should be more cultured than us. I, I like, like bok choy. Yeah. I like, I like kimchi. kimchi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The things you learn. Oh, boy. Korean what should I do today? Kimchi. It's going to be so nice out. Gary, what are you going to do today? Why yes, that? I'm just asking. Mm. Why? Why? Why do you want to know why I'm asking? Because that's <laughs> going to determine how you answer me. Tell, why don't you just tell the truth? What do you mean? What are you doing today? I don't really have any plans. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do. I'm busy all day. I'm not going to ask you, baby, to send my kids ever again. You're off the list. I don't want to. I hear all these crazy stories. Do you think I want people marking on my walls? I do. Nope. It's funny how you change your tune. I'll take the kids anytime. You know, Juliana, of course I would. If you really need me, you're really in a bind. Oh, of course I would. Move to the south Of course side. I would. It's too far of a drive. You don't have to drive. I'll drop them off at your house. They sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're at a crazy stage right now. No, they're not. They'll be scared of you anyway. They'll be hiding in the corner. Yeah, that's why she hides from me. She goes under the console here. I don't even know why. I know. Philo every time. I know. I know. They're cute, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything today. I got to do some work. I do some other work on the side. I got to do some of that. Mm -hmm. I want to do something fun with my kids. It's going to be so nice out. Yesterday, the triplets, they asked me. Just randomly, I was like washing their hands at the sink, and they go, "Aunt Johanna, how do you how do you get on the radio?" <laughs> it's like I, it's really hard to explain. How old are the triplets? Four. Triplets, that's it's crazy. Usually, Aunt Johanna. Aunt Johanna, how does she do have any more? Your sister, or is she done? No, she's done. You sure? I believe so. Yes. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't believe you're having another one. I know. And then I'm done. No, you're not going to be sister done. thinks she's done, too. She only has two. Well, I'll tell you what, August. <laughs> going to be rough. You want a brawl? <laughs> you want a brawl? Happy for you, sad for me. You don't be sad for anything. I will FaceTime you every day. Every day. I'll be like, you'll feel bad for me. I'm going to take a nap for sure. Are you kidding me, Kaylee? I take a nap every day. I usually take them with my pants on, sometimes with my shoes on still. 
That's so strange. <laughs> Is it? That's him yeah. falling asleep. I'm on taking the couch. a nap with my coat on, like in the wintertime. Just go home, lay down with my shoes, that's everything. That's insane. How? Yeah, no. that's weird. And, but I'll make sure my that. shoes aren't on the couch so my feet will be just off, but everything <laughs> else is on it. That's what a psychopath would do. Yeah, it seems a little serial. It's a little crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm not here to impress anybody. I say that, but I strip all the way down, and that seems kind of crazy too. Naked to Sometimes. take a nap? That's Sometimes crazy. at least just my pants. Especially being pregnant, it's just like such a relief to not be wearing anything. Just yeah, like, that's why. Listen, you're. That's a better life to live. What? Free? Mm hmm. <laughs> just be free and wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's going to be real free when she got to breastfeed again. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's as free as can be. I don't even want to hear it. It's, it is a. Only a mother could do it, okay? It's not a very easy job. Hey, it's not that we can't talk about him. We just, what are we going to say? What do you want us to say? We, what do you to say? We just, it's, it's not fruitful. How yeah, is that Nothing helpful? to gain from it. He didn't like it, he, so he left, and now he's doing sales. <laughs> there you go. We talked about it. I seriously have not talked to him in a long time. I texted him yesterday. Did you get the info you needed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I might see him soon, actually. You may what? I may see him. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she eats the kimchi all by itself. Yes, Rod, I do. I do eat it all by itself. I also oh. eat it with rice and, and cupai mayo. And sriracha and soy sauce. I should probably stop. <laughs> Listen to your favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Camp. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash froggy981. What's tomorrow looking like for Why Am I Still Single? Green post-its. Green light. So we far, go. so good. We go. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I hope so. Okay. I booked it at the. I booked tomorrow at the beginning of the week, and I did that. I had, um with something else we did this week, and that person canceled on me. So, I, as of right now, we're good to go. If you missed it, uh, the uh, the update from last week's Why Am I Still Single, they're still kind of together. We thought that maybe they weren't, but the pilot and the the realtor, one in Columbus, one in uh, Plattsmouth, it was super, super cute, uh, the two of them. Will we have a repeat hot, hot? We won't know till tomorrow. It's always fun to bring two complete strangers on and see whether or not they are a match. And we all uh, witness that together. So that'll be tomorrow with Michael Tischulers live on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Uh, also, tomorrow we will have another couple of items from Gary and Johanna's collection that can be found at the Mother of All Garage Sale. That's coming up in a couple of weeks. We had a, uh, we highlighted a couple of items this morning, including Johanna's tampons, that uh, the last box that she didn't need. Because I never got my period because I'm right. knocked up. Yep. I'm also throwing in some Midol. Do not forget about that. Those those pills are pricey, and they are not the off-brand. It is the Midol I'm brand. I'm surprised you went name brand on it. Because the pain is that bad. The pain is that bad. The pain. It used to be. Not no more. Is not that, for another two years, probably. <laughs> is that an unopened bottle of Midol? No, it's used. It's used. <laughs> um, and there's some makeup on it because it's been in my makeup bag. But the pills are still there. I mean, like they're still... Quite a few pills are so good. The it, pills are clean. That's it, why I'm throwing it in for free if oh, you buy the I tampons. Oh, comes in for free. Yeah. Goes, I got you. And then I had some strength strength shoes that I wore in college to try to get my 40 time down and to help me jump higher. It worked. It worked. They're hideous. They're the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. There's like a platform on the front part you of it. You were so worried somebody would take these that you wrote your name on the he bottom of the shoe. He did not write his name on them. Yeah. Those were $150 back in the day. It's faded. Back in what day? The 1800s. <laughs> I get it. Now I know why he's selling them for 50 bucks. They're autographed. Oh. <laughs> They're autographed. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
But as you can tell, I don't know how to write in cursive. Can we get a certificate of authenticity with this? I'll be honest. You could probably put on there, like, back to the future memorabilia, and that would, like, pass. Doesn't it look like something, like... No. Those those don't look cool at all. The back to the future stuff was all cool. Yeah, but that looks like like the Like clown shoes is what they look like. I'm parting ways with them if somebody wants to buy them. This couple of, again, a couple of items you'll find at the Mother of All Garage Sales with the Gary and Johanna collection. We'll have a couple <laughs> more items tomorrow. If you missed any of the show today, go back and watch it. Facebook, YouTube, also the Nebraska Now channel on Roku, Fire Stick, and, and uh, what's Apple TV, and we're also on Twitch. Thank you for watching it and for listening to the show today. Hang on. We've got some Chris Stapleton. He's coming your way next. Wait, 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 wait. All right, oh. all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, now, ladies. Yeah. You got to break it down to something in a little bit. <laughs> Joanna's going to eat. We'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Okay, love you. Bye, guys. Bye.